kind of phase one from the from the up thrust. We come to this level of support. We try to hold, we foul. And we foul quite dramatically. And then price accelerates to the downside. This is supply heavy. This is telling us there's active selling participants in the market. So when it comes down to this level and you see a spring, now for an intraday level, I did trade this spring. However, from a swing trading perspective, if I was looking, you know, to potentially play this, I don't like this spring. The volume is, it is lower than the anchor point, as in, because this is the support level made from this level, uh, from this bar where we draw our support. We come into this and it has lower volume, agreed. However, it is pretty high. It's pretty close to this. So although I would expect this uh, spring bar to produce a rally of sorts, and it does. This is the, the Fed bar, isn't it, here? Uh, this bar itself for a spring bar, I do not particularly like, and that's because of two reasons. A, it kind of feels a bit more like, I know we're going into labeling here, but for, for me, it feels a bit more like stopping action than a spring, uh, you know, where, um, where we're just dipping down, you know, finding all the weak, all the, uh, how can I phrase this? You know, when, when we dip down, do a little stop hunt to reverse and close firm. Okay, this just feels like there's just a real heavy attempt to try and hold up all this selling rather than a really good technical spring where we're going to take off and uh, at least come to the highs up here. Why? Well, because look look how far or look how it doesn't. Sorry, if you want to clean up the, uh, the, the screen here, it does not retrace that deep into the previous bar. I mean, for me, with all this volume, and again, we've just spoke about the volume here, as opposed to this, demand is still struggling here. So the first obstacle for this market to overcome for me would be this level. 